Hey everybody, uh, welcome. It's time for a nighttime edition of the Toy Car Collector opens up a box with his sharp knife. The reason I got to do this at night is because this box came in during the day. It was sitting on my porch when I came home from dinner and it was all wet and when I shook it, it rattled inside which is a very bad sign because these cars are very delicate plastic cars. Aurora cigar box cars and in a carry case. Now they seem to be packed up good but if you notice, can you hear that? They sound like they're rattling around. Doesn't sound like they're actually smacking against the plastic, but you know as a collector that always scares you when you get the box and hear some odd noises. There's a lot of packing material in there, so that's good. The box is not really quite big enough for this, but it managed to arrive. It was all wet, so that was kind of a weird thing. The box was wet on the outside, so anyway, let's throw that aside and get the box out and see what we got. I had to turn the light on in the phone because it is dark rainy and gloomy in Portland, Oregon this week and every week of February, March, January, you name it. That's just the way it is here. Okay, all right, here it is. Looks like there might be some packing material in the cigar box case. But get a load of that case, it's pretty cool, huh? It's very nice, yes. I'm gonna capture a picture of that. Go ahead and open her up. There was a couple cars in here that look like colors I had not seen before, which it's kind of unusual for me. Oh, look at that. They have little plastic bubbles kind of around them. They really do. Now there was a, wait a minute. I thought there was a blue car that I really wanted. This is weird. This is like, uh, I don't know what that is. Anyway, let's take a look, see what we got. Now, this is one of the cars that I was looking forward to. Let's see, it's a green, green car. Now the thing about Aurora cigar box cars is you don't want to drop them. That's definitely one of the things about them. Here is a green with a shiny chrome base. I can't really tell if the window posts are intact, but um, I do believe I needed a green one of these. So I was happy to get that. And then this red Toronado. I believe I needed a red Toronado, although I kind of gave up on collecting these years ago because they're kind of hard to find once you have most of them. This one's nice, got a little stress in there from the front screw. Actually, these are rivets on this one. They are nice and shiny in the bottom, so that's good. And that is the Red Tornado. I don't even know if I've ever seen a Red Tornado before, so that was super neat to find. So everything looks good here. I think that everything's going to be fine because there were plastic protectors. This one, too, I don't have this color. Pretty sure I haven't seen it before on the blue Porsche 904, I believe. Let's see. Yep, there it is, Porsche 904 in blue. Get that focused in there for you. I haven't seen this one before. Very nice. The bad news about getting uh, some new cars is that I may decide to start collecting these again or not sell the collection that I have, which I thought about selling. It's pretty cool though. They cut the boxes open, took the tags, put them in the collector's case, each one. It's pretty neat. Need a little, need a little uh, bunch of Aurora. Oh, look at that red. Hmm, a red Ford GT40. I'm not sure if I have that one. I will check. But I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. I was just wanting to get this open tonight before, so that I could sleep knowing that what's in this box is in good shape. I'll come back in the morning when there's lots of light, and we'll look at cigar box cars again. See you in the morning. Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here, Toy Car Collector, and it is the next morning, and the light and the sunshine are out today. It's going to be a lovely day, and it's time to look in this box of toys and see exactly what we got in this box of Aurora Cigar Box. Now, the Aurora Cigar Box, I can't say it, the Aurora Cigar Box case holds 15 pieces. A very lovely case indeed. Hard plastic, however, but the cars were all nicely placed in the case, so let's go over some of these cars and see what we got. Now, the reason I bought this collection, I don't really need a lot of Aurora cars, and uh, 
they don't sell particularly well. They are fun to collect. You can get pretty good deals on them sometimes. And uh, some of the cars are a lot harder than others. Now, let's take a look at this red Tornado, for instance. I don't believe I have one. Now, look at this one's got a little stress on the uh, on the rivet area there where it goes through. This is a really nicely nicely made one. Now, I have a collection of Auroras, and I do have a lot of them. And let's look and see. Aurora Riviera. Oh, I put the... Um, actual cars up first to look at that okay let's see my Riviera collection I have oh I don't have dark blue I've seen it no that's Riviera what am I doing Tornado light blue I have like five of and oh I do have a red no I have the red space because I've seen one but I don't have one then I've got some white and yellow so I got white yellow light blue and now I have the red oh, that's, so that's very cool and while we're at it let's look at this green Galaxy Ford, really nice. I think I might have this one. Now these are very shiny for a cigar box car, so that's really nice. So let's take a look here and see what my list shows. Ford Galaxy XL 500, yep, and there's another one I do not have. Let's focus in on that. Ford XL 500, very nice. And um, so I have the dark blue, which was a hard one, the light blue, which is the common, and the white, fairly common. I don't have a yellow listed here. I think there is a yellow, but that's cool. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, let's see. There's a light blue Riviera, but that's the common color. Buick Riviera. Oh, wait a minute. Buick Riviera. I have a terrible selection of those right now. I only have white and yellow. Huh. I should add a blue. Oh, there's a blue one. Oh, look at that. It's got some plastic flashing there in the window. I can probably cut that, trim that out. That's weird. Is that on the inside of the glass? On the outside. That's oh, on the outside. I might be able to get that off. That is so weird. Can't take it apart. You really can't take these things apart. They will bust up into a million pieces. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's a new color for me too. And then how about this one? I was thinking this one might be a new color. The Porsche 904 in blue. Now, I do have a lot of race cars because they're a lot more common than the um, American cars. People have a lot more of those. Let's see, Porsche 904. Yep, green, red, tan, yellow, and now blue. That's really cool. Now in the camera, I'm noticing it's uh, very dark blue, but it's actually sort of a light blue. Oh, I have my light on the camera. Let me turn that off. All right, now that's back with the light off. It shows a little more light blue. Good, good, good. All right, let's take a look and see what else is in here. Oh, you know, there's a Mako Shark. Let's see, where do I list the Mako Shark? Uh, Mako Shark, Mako Shark. I think it's in the goofy cars. Mako Shark. Hmm. Cobra, Tornado, Riviera, Chaparral, Mercury Cougar, da 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 da. Mako Shark, there it is. Oh, look at that. Light blue, red, white, yellow, and now green. Oh boy. I'm getting all excited now. I knew there were some good cars in here. Here it is. Mako Shark in green. Isn't that cool? I did not have that before. That is fabulous. Look at that. A collection. That's very rare to get a collection with four new... F five, five new colors? Whoa. That's crazy. That's almost crazy talk. I swear. Oh, and I do... Let's just go over the rest of these. I think I have all... I'm pretty sure I have all these colors. Here's another. This is the uh, Cobra in red. Very cool. I like it. Very cool. And uh, let's see the Ford GT40 in red. I'm sure I have that. Let me double check the list here. Oh yeah, I got one, two, three. I got like four of those already. Now sometimes you'll have some variation in these cars. There'll be like a stripe or no stripe or a different color stripe. Now here's a Chaparral in sort of a off-white, maybe cream, and I don't, let's see what colors I have. Chaparral, I have light blue and white and yellow, no head. Oh, that's not good. He's got his little head in there. So this is probably a new color for the Chaparral for me. That's pretty cool. All right. This box, I don't know. This is really cool. I don't know how, there might be some story behind how the fellow got all these cars. There is the Lola GT, is that right? Yeah, Lola GT in the uh, turquoise or light blue. Lola GT, Lola, Lola, 
Oh, GT. Light blue, yeah. I've got three of those, but I don't have any. I may not have the one with the black stripe down the middle. You never know. You never know about these things. It's always something different. What do we got here? We've got the Dino Ferrari in yellow with a red stripe. Dino Ferrari. I am going to have to come back and do more videos about Skybox cars. Because they're awfully cool. And uh, just about to exhaust our time. For this one, there's another, what is that? Ferrari Berlinetta. Tanned with black stripes. Very cool. Nicely painted in front headlights. Here's one of my favorites, the McLaren Elva. McLaren Elva. And this one is a cream color with a red stripe. Let's see what I've got already in that. Looking at the list, McLaren Elva. I have a gold. What? Light gold tan. I guess this is probably considered tan. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool. And that's this is normally what the bases look like. Just metal. Cast metal. The uh, All of the... Oh, that's interesting. I never noticed that before. All of the American cars are chrome base, probably because they need the chrome grill. And then the race cars are not chrome. They're just plain. Oh, well, that's something. That's an observation I had not noticed before. Here's Ford GT. Or 4J car. There we go. 4J car, yeah. In the light blue with the black front. The J car is one of my favorites. Did I say that? I think all of these are one of my favorites. <laughs> I just keep saying that. Oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Corvette. It's very popular. Very popular. One thing you'll notice if you uh, look at the pricing of Aurora Cigar Box cars is that there's so many damaged ones that it gives you the impression that they're fairly cheap. And they are fairly cheap, but... There's just so many damaged ones that, you know, you get like a whole box of damaged ones for like 50 bucks. But, you know, for a nice box, you got to pay a lot more. Here's the T-Bird, Ford Thunderbird. Ford Thunderbird. And let's see. Yellow. I've got two of those already. Here's one more. And then you're looking over the list, you know, there's, uh, I tell you what, in the, uh, the Camaro is very hard. I've only got yellow Camaro, so that's a tough one. Stingray, got a bunch of those. The Mustang, that's a convertible. I think that's a convertible or a hard top, one or the other. That's a tough one. I've only got two of those. Thunderbird, common. Ford XL, common, except in certain colors. The Cougar, got a few of those. Uh, Buick Riviera, common. Tornado, common, except in some colors. And then uh, there's some cars that they made in the uh, metalized, you know, the uh, metalized. See, these are the cigar, called the cigar box. And they are just colored plastic, molded plastic. Now, the Speedline version of these have racing-type wheels, uh, free freewheeling wheels, and they have metalized chrome, chrome, chromish-looking uh, bodies. And um, we'll talk about that more later in, a, in another video. So I'm going to take all these cars and uh, put them in the old collection and, and uh, see how they look. So thanks for joining me on this video. Please be sure to stop by the website www.toycarcollector.com for all your fabulous collecting needs. Thanks a lot, folks. You have a great day now.